it's Boss Designs here and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's video I'm going to take you through how I made this cool match day poster for Liverpool vs Chelsea. So I won't bore you any further, let's get this started. So as you can see I've got my uh, subjects in the layers panel, these are who I want in the edit and I've got this nice cool gradient um, kind of blue and red. Um, almost like a paint, a spray paint gradient, which I think is quite cool because it resembles the Liverpool and the Chelsea kind of match up, uh, blue and red. Um, but yeah, and now I've just basically sampled the background colour of that and just wanted to make it fill the whole page. So I've just uh, masked the um, actual texture and just blended it into the background. And here I've got uh, my first subject, Luis Diaz, and I'm just going to literally ply around with um, the positioning of my players and the way I want this piece to look. I'm actually posting this after the game, um, so as you may all know, Liverpool got the win, which is huge. I'm buzzing about it. Um, what a game it was! Could have gone either either way. Chelsea um, had some really good uh, passages of plays, and it, yeah, I, I was bricking it at times. But Liverpool were really professional about it. Saw the game through, and um, it really Arna Slot's real first test against a, a top quality side, and. He delivered, and it's 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 really promising. A really promising We've got Arsenal next uh, next um, week weekend. Sorry, um, so I'll probably do a match day edit for that actually. So stay tuned. But yeah, it's it's looking good for um, for Liverpool. I'm not, I don't want to jump the gun. Don't want to get too ahead of myself because it's a long season and it is ruthless. The Premier League is ruthless. You slip up and you find yourself uh, a long way back. So yeah, but it, it's promising and. But back to this, um, here I'm just uh, using a mask and using a nice black brush just to fade out on a slot and as you'll see uh, Salo and Diaz in a moment uh, into the background. It's quite a cool effect, uh, I do it on a lot of my edits and it almost is just kind of that smoky kind of effect they're coming out of the, out of the piece. Uh, so yeah, I think it's just quite a cool, uh, cool technique to use. Uh, so next I'm actually going to, um, I'm just playing around in the background but I'm going to go into camera or filter and um, this is what I do for all my all my subjects, and just play around with the shadow and highlights, contrast, and um, yeah, and sharpening just to make the players stand out a little bit more. As you can see, I'm doing it now, and I sort of stick to a kind of a rough, um, well, routine on this uh, as such, but it not it's not strict. Again, again, it's subjective and it's it's what looks good. Uh, so just yeah, just to have a go and uh, see what you like. It's your it's your design if you are doing it. Um, but yeah. So now I've actually, uh, I go into image and then the adjustments panel to shadow and highlights. Just uh, a little addition I add to uh, all my subjects. And I normally have that between 15 and 25% on the amount uh, just to make them yeah, stand out a little bit more as such. It's not a massive difference, you don't have to do this, but I like to do it and yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I've got this nice um, Anfield background and I want to kind of just merge this in into the um, the texture um, using one of the, uh, the overlays, well, blends. Um. But I didn't like that one, as you can see. Um, and I've gone for um, this Anfield photo, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of move about with it um, and see what I like. So I'd start to uh, play, just um, change the uh, the positioning of the other Anfield Stadium because I didn't like how it was kind of below Graven Birch and you also had like the fans there and it just didn't work with him standing basically on a fan's head. So <laughs> effectively, I um, just wanted to uh, yeah change the positioning and I came to this. Uh, well, not that there. That's that's what I came to on the side on the right. And I thought it's quite a cool effect, quite a cool look to the design. Just having the uh, the Anfield stand. The main one, the Dalgleish stand, just coming out of this on the right side of the page and having a nice um, blend to it, which I think I use the darken blend, if I'm right by saying, or the darker color, which is on at the moment. I 
or no hard light sorry my bad uh, yeah the hard light blend um, so yes now that's done um, I've gone in just to get the Chelsea logo and I've gone for the white one because I want it to be um, a transparent background um, where I can use color overlay here and just make it a, a white um, Chelsea logo uh, I could get the normal one but I, could, I, just, I just like doing this on my match day edits having it as like a transparent background through the through the badge and changing the color overlay to a white and I just made two two literally um, squares change the color according to the club and um, put the bad logos on top of it you see this on quite a few professional match day posters by actual clubs it's just yeah another technique they use for for the design And now I'm also getting the Premier League logo, as it's a Premier League game. Um, and I like to keep my um, posters professional, so I like to have that in there. And it, the same process, I get it in as a PNG and cl double click on the layer and turn a uh, color overlay to the, the desired color. Right, so next I'm just getting a nice soft brush and making it the shape basically into a very flat rugby ball, as you can see, um, or like that. Um, and just using a soft brush, black brush, at about 20% flow, and just painting in the shadows under uh, under <coughs> voice crack, sorry, under grab and birch. Um, but yes, and then just literally play around with the flow. If you want to make it a little bit softer, um, do that. And yeah, just try and make it as realistic as possible. And here I'm now. I've gone to edit and gone to uh, image and did a fill layer of 50% grey, and then turn that layer to overlay. And basically now I just go to the burn tool and I'm painting on all the darker areas of the subject um, just to make the, the shadows uh, stand out a little bit more um, and that again is going to ed um, edit create a new layer sorry edit fill 50% turn it to overlay and then you get on with the, uh, the painting in with the dodge and burn tool on the left as you can see it's selected and now I'm on the dodge tool and just yeah painting in over the, the, the lighter parts um, of um, the player just to make the highlights stand out a little bit more and I'm going to speed this little, this next bit up because obviously I'm just doing the same process for all the other players so uh, otherwise we'll be here for another 20 minutes so uh, I'm doing it for your sake guys uh, don't get annoyed at me but um, yes I'm doing that uh, all again for all the all the other subjects and then I'm also um, on each of them I'm adding a color lookup of three strip uh, and just reducing that to about 80 percent just to make the to bring out the saturation of the players uh, and now i've just made a nice white color fill layer and inverted it on the mask and just painting in some lens flares over the stadium uh, and that is because i want to add some highlights to the players to make it a bit more realistic and again just made another color fill layer uh, of white and inverted it with the mask with the command i and use a nice white brush this time at about 40% flow and just paint in uh, some realistic uh, highlights where you think the light is going to be hitting on the player. And just yeah, just take your time with this. Uh, it should be a soft brush, you don't want it to be a thick, thick one because uh, that's just not realistic is it? Um, just yeah, have a nice, just play around with it, uh, with the highlights and just think where you think these uh, the lights will be kind of reflecting off, off the player. And then finally, just finishing on our slot, adding in those highlights, and it's almost the piece is almost looking finished. Just a few more additions to it, such as text, um, and I think that's pretty much it. To be honest, just some text because obviously it's a match day poster. We need to have a need to have some information on there, um, otherwise um, it's not being informative, and that's what fans look to. As well as they love the design, but they want to actually know what time the kickoff is. Uh, and yeah, but um, before that, I'm uh, going to get a Premier League uh, background, uh, just uh, one of these ones, 
and I'm using a blend uh, of lighten and I just masked it and um, bring out the um, take out the top of it just to blend it into the, uh, the bottom half of the piece I just thought this was a cool addition as it's a Premier League game and having those kind of abstract um, well kind of sh well, abstract shapes it, um, that I recognise as the Premier League um, shapes so I'm waffling now um, it would just be quite cool to have it in the background basically I just cut it short I wanted to add it in <laughs> and that's what I did I don't know why I'm trying to explain it so much um, but yeah And finally, I'm just adding in the final touches of the text, which I just explained a minute ago. Uh, yeah, just the, the date, the location, which is Anfield, and um, and the time of kickoff. Uh, this is done on pretty much every match day poster you see. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And that is uh, gonna round off uh, the design for today. And there we have it guys, here is the finished match day poster design of Liverpool versus Chelsea. I was really happy with how it came out, I think it really gives off a clean, fresh and kind of professional match day look. Uh, let me know down below your thoughts on it and if you have any suggestions on tips that you thought I could have added to it, uh, and it could have improved it because again, I'm learning, I'm, I'm, I'm learning through this process and yeah, it would be helpful to, uh, to get your opinions on it. But until next time guys, I really hope you enjoy the video, have a great week and there will be more content on the way. See you later.